Hey everybody, it's Homesteading Mama here, and we're here with Anastasia, and she's doing the filming for us. And today what we're going to do is we're going to go over how to make homemade toothpaste and mouthwash. And it's very, very simple. But why are we doing it? It's because homesteading is all about saving money, trying to get away from society where you're always pouring your money back into society when you really don't need to, and saving that extra money for things that you really need to spend it on or a little luxury now and then. Um, so what we're doing is is teaching you how to do this and it's very healthy. When you go to the store and you buy a tube of toothpaste, uh, most of us right now are searching for something with baking soda and peroxide in it to keep our teeth nice and white and bright and a healthy smile and all that. Um, you're spending it for a lot of chemicals and the paste that's made in it is made to use more when you really don't need to. And then all you do is wipe through it and you're spending more money to go back and buy it again and the circle continues. Well, a long time ago, a hundred or so years ago, they used baking soda just to wash their mouth out with. That's all you need. And you add a little bit of peroxide to it. So here's what you do. You can buy baking soda at the dollar store and this one costs 60 cents. Use baking soda for everything, cooking, cleaning, everything. Okay, you get a small jar, you can use glass but in the bathroom, your hands are wet and soapy and this and that. Glass, eh. We use plastic, but not any plastic because plastic can give back. This is plastic safe. In other words, it's manufactured for food. So it won't give back. Okay? And all you have to do is take a small little spoon so you don't play the mess. And you put them in there. Okay? And I have some already in there, so all you have to do is add your baking soda. Then take some peppermint oil. Peppermint oil is a great antibacterial, so it stops bacteria from getting underneath your gums and causing havoc with so gingivitis, bad breath, things like that. So all you have to do is put in a few drops and make it as strong as you like. I like it a little stronger because I love a strong minty taste. Cover it. Shake it. That's all you need to do. Shake it. It stays nice and dry. Okay, we're going to put that aside for a minute. Now, we're going to talk about what you spray it with to give it sort of a like pasty feeling. Peroxide. How'd you do peroxide? Again, from the dollar store, you can get this whole thing for a dollar. So right now, we're up to a dollar sixty. Okay? And there's a, a recipe on the side of the bot bottle, any bottle you buy, um, for a mouthwash. And all you have to do is mix half and half, half peroxide, half water. And you've got yourself a mouthwash. You, you gargle, you rinse with it, and then you wash your mouth out with plain water. That's all you do. But in this little spritzer, I mix three quarters of the way up with hydrogen peroxide, one quarter water, and shake it. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to spray my toothbrush. I didn't use water. Now we have well water. So I don't need to use bottled water in this, but I still want to conserve my water. I only want to use it when I need to because I don't want to be wasteful. And you took that powder that you made up of baking soda and your peppermint oil, and you put a little bit on the palm of your hand, just a little bit like that. Okay, you take the toothbrush that you wet down with your mixture here, and you go like that, and that's all you need to brush your teeth. Brush your teeth really well, get into those gums, and then rinse your mouth out. It's that simple. I've gone over this with my dentist. He said it's perfect. I can't remember the last time I had a cavity. It's been a bazillion years. And you can see by my age, I'm as old as the mountains. <laughs> um, and it's really good for you. Um, and my teeth are really healthy. And I don't know whether you can see it on camera or not, but I have a really clean smile. My teeth are very white and very clean. Now, the other thing we're going to discuss is a homemade mouthwash. So, again, let's talk about society. We buy a jug like this, and it generally runs anywhere between $5 to $7, depending what you're buying. And to go all natural, for some reason, it runs you higher. I have no idea why, but it does. So, in any event, um, all you have to do is, again, go buy this recipe on the side of, your, on the, side of the bottle here. You get a jar. I do use glass for that. I don't have any plastic food container jars, although I would use that too. But when I put my label on anything, I put a piece of scotch tape over it because it protects it 
and therefore I don't have to keep spending money to replace the label. I mixed half water, half hydrogen peroxide, a few drops of peppermint oil for that nice, clean, minty thing taste. And then I'm going to add some clove oil. Clove oil goes back into Chinese history 2,000 or more years. Whenever you get a little toothache, you take some clove oil and put it on that toothache. It numbs it, goes away. Um, it's a great antibacterial, so I drop a few drops of that in there as well. Um, and it gives great hygiene. So again, all you have to do is put the cover on it and shake. Every time you use it, remember to shake it because your oil will go to the top. Just like when you're making salad dressing. And you, know, and you mix the oil and the vinegar and the water, your oil ends up at the top. So you shake it. You rinse your mouth out really well, you gargle, and then you can take a little bit of water and just rinse off. Sometimes I leave it there because I love the, the feeling of that clean, clean, clean taste. And that's it. So for $1.60, we made that. And how much more can we make out of it? And you spent a little bit of money on... These are things that, you know, when you're starting up your home apothecary, these are essentials you keep in there. And depending on, you can buy all different types, just make sure they're pure. Um, you try to get the first run on essential oils. What that means is they took the original plant, they ran it through the press. It's just like virgin olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. You get your first run, your second run, your third run. Same, same concept. Is you want the strong, strong, strong first run essential oil. And they may cost you. You know, you may go anywhere between $5 and $15 for peppermint oil. It's worth it because the first run you won't have to use as much because it's stronger. It's more intense. So you're actually saving yourself money. And it has more medicinal purposes in it. And the lower class it is, just like when you're just buying any virgin olive oil, the greener it is, you know, it's the first run. The more yellow it is, it's been through it a few times. Same concept. And make sure that they come in a dark bottle and you keep them in a dark place, dark, cool place, so that they keep their medicinal purposes. And um, that's it. So we have quite a bit for quite a long time for not a lot of money. This is Homestead Mama thanking Anastasia for all the taping she's been doing for us. And we'll be back at another time with more tips, either in the household, out in the garden, but to live a good, healthy life. And um, let there always be peace. Huh.